Hello, my name is Greg Cullen. I'm the CTO here at Solstice Mobile. And I'm Andrew Sutherland. I'm a technical consultant here at Solstice Mobile. And today we're going to talk about Project Tango. Uh, Tango is a um, tablet from Google. Um, it is Google's attempt to give mobile devices a human scale understanding of space and motion. Um, Project Tango is really three things. It's motion tracking, it's depth perception, and it's area learning. Motion tracking, it, it knows where it is, it knows where it's been, it knows how it's moving, rotating and translating. Uh, depth perception, it can sense um, and, and see, it can see what is around it um, using infrared cameras, and it is aer area learning, um, meaning <clears throat> it stores a mathematical um, representation of key features and can read that back and later recognize, oh, I've been here before, I know where I am. Yeah, one of the questions I get a lot of is, you know, okay, that's great, but why does a phone need that? Or what, what are the actual uses of, of a phone uh, or in a tablet? Mm -hmm. And really, we think of the phone as a person, you know, very human-centered. Um, and what, is the, what does a person do on their daily basis with interacting with the world? And the more information that we can provide the digital world, the, the richer the experiences that we can provide. So a good exercise to understand how Project Tango can help or help thinking about, which is an exercise that we did, help think about where are the opportunities for Tango, is just think about shutting that sense off. Um, when you think about all of your senses and no longer having that sense of sight, the absence of that are the things that, that the, things, the, the activities that are more difficult to do um, or impossible to do without sight are really the opportunities for the digital world. I, I do find that to be one of the more exciting uh, features of Tango that it allows to the Tango project to, to, to for us to better uh, interact with and that's indoor mapping. Mm -hmm. um, you think about the changes, uh, the experiences that, that has op have opened up because of uh, GPS and mapping um, outside um, and allowing that navigation the, I think that could be infinitely more um, profound uh, indoors, within the indoor spaces. And you right. can think about in retail spaces, finding objects on the, uh, on the shelves, mm -hmm. optimizing shopping experiences, um, and indoor, just indoor locations in general. And what that means is if you um, are in a space that maybe you haven't seen before and you haven't been able to plan out um, where you're gonna put your furniture, you can take these virtual objects and kind of lay them out or if you're in a warehouse and you need to plan out your assembly lines um, without actually moving that infrastructure in there physically first, you can take this technology and kind of map that out um, without you know, putting in the effort of actually bringing it in, maybe purchasing things you don't need or you know, optimizing that space. The second attempt that we took with the Tango tablet was um, to prove the indoor mapping functionality. Um, the Tango tablet knows where it is inside of our building now that we've walked around with it and taught it the key features, the, um, you know, the, the boundaries and everything like that. So what we did was we um, have a beacon tour and we proved that the Tango tablet can find these beacons with, because the space is so big with centimeter accuracy, maybe not millimeter accuracy, you would get in a smaller area. Um, can find these beacons without any of the beacon infrastructure. Um, obviously with beacons, you know, you have to go place them and then whenever you want to move them or update them, somebody has to go out and actually physically play with them. But with this, with this Tango tablet, this indoor mapping functionality, you don't need to do any of that. You don't need any of the infrastructure. Somebody could be, you know, you could do it once for a factory or warehouse. And then for a similar warehouse, that data is going to be the same. So any technology that really bridges the physical and the digital world together, we get excited about. So all, while Project Tango explores the sense of sight, uh, we still have the sense of taste. Uh, we still have opportunities in sound, uh, smell, touch. Um, so we're, any, any technology that uh, stretches the world or, or connects the digital and the physical world together, we will research, we will be testing. Even though it's something that might not make it to market, that those experiences we're going to be trying out and eventually those things will stick because it's a very natural uh, experience for us and we're, we naturally gravitate towards those experiences in the digital world as well.